Today, a number of NGO representatives gathered in Kampala to interface with the Ministry of Internal Affairs. It is one of the platforms to build trust between the NGOs and government through the NGO Bureau. A number of issues were pointed out, including continued harassment of the NGOs and staff and negative narratives. Because nobody wants to associate with a foreign agent, nobody wants to associate with an economic saboteur, nobody wants to be uh, associating with somebody who is hobnobbing his development partners, nobody wants to be associating with anybody involved in espionage. And we do not get involved in these things because we are law-abiding citizens of the country. The matter of unresolved break-ins and security raids, which has been discussed severally, also came up again, with NGOs calling for reports from the investigations conducted. Responding to the concern, the head of legal services at the police, Erasmus Trarihukwa, explained that some NGOs had not followed the proper procedure and had also not provided any details of the cases. Now, there's a procedure to follow if you have to get a report from the police you need to write specifically asking for a report. You pay for the report for revenue. The, ma the money goes to URA and the report is issued. I am not aware of any NGO which did this and they never received the report. We tried all attempts to have these reports. We paid the 90,000. The IGP cleared us. We paid the 90,000 for every report. We have the receipts from the government of the Republic of Uganda. But why should we embarrass government here in this platform? The CMI head of legal, Paul Mukung, also justified the continued arraigning of civilians in military courts, even when the Constitutional Court already ruled that it is unconstitutional. The Attorney General filed an application for the stay of the implementation or execution of that ruling, and it was duly granted. The chairperson of the NGO Bureau Adjudication Committee, Justice Yerukam Bamwine, emphasized the importance of dialogue, expressing readiness to handle any grievances between the NGOs and the regulator. We shall listen to the complaint, shall listen to the complainant, listen to the respondent, and make an informed decision based on evidence presented to us. It's incumbent on all of us who are benefiting from this industry, whether as regulators or as citizen, citizens or as NGOs, to safeguard the reputation and name of the industry. We need each other because of the diverse but complementary role played in the development of this country. For his part, the State Minister for Internal Affairs, General David Mohosi, maintained that the government would continue to hold a fair stance as NGOs and not enemies of the state. Uh, but I think the problem lies in the tension is sometimes caused by the overzealousness of either side and the responses uh, this invites. So, through these dialogues like this one, I think we can find a meeting point uh, over these issues. But uh, Mr. Wangara, the NGOs are not enemies of the state. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV. <laughs>